We're privileged to visit with the First Lady of Georgia this morning, and you had a special group at the Capitol today. Why don't you tell us a little bit about who, who your friends are? Well, I was happy to have the Girl Scouts here and to visit with them. We have, um, we have new, new leadership in both the historic Georgia and the Greater Atlanta Scout Troops. Uh, and so we're really happy that they came today, and I got to meet both. Uh, we also were received from them some cookies. It's now the time to sell cookies for our Girl Scouts, and we hope you'll be willing to buy from our Girl Scouts because we know they're of good quality. And we always have our favorites. My favorite is the chocolate mint cookie. And I also wanted to ask you about your, your Read Across Georgia program. I mean, you've been going to every corner of the state, reading to children from all parts of Georgia. And as a dad who has an a adopted son, I mean, I think teaching children about the importance of readings, you know, just invaluable to them. Tell us a little bit about your observations that you've seen across Georgia. Well, I think that it's important for us to encourage reading and to help a child to realize how much fun reading can be and how much they can learn and how exciting it is. To get the children encouraged and wanting to learn to read is my goal. You know, it's hard work to learn to read. It's not easy. It takes a lot of practice, and the teacher can't do it all. But our children need those skills, so we have to depend on parents and caregivers and other people to help these children practice their reading, to read to them and then listen to them read, and to encourage them so that they can have a brighter future. We want every child to be a, an efficient reader by the time they reach third grade, because after third grade they are reading for information, and if they are lacking in skills, they will struggle and we want them to be successful. We don't want them to feel bad about themselves, and children know automatically whether or not they are doing a quality job. And so we need to encourage each one by helping them be prepared by the time they get to third grade. And that takes parent involvement and fellowship with these children to try to teach them. Well, I know a lot of folks appreciate the effort you're doing, and thank you so much for that. Well, thank you very much. My pleasure.